Okay, this is Fox back again for sound design tutorials. This is part five of a deconstruction of the 150 BPM trance track using only Synthmaster. Today we're going to be going over this trance gate sound, which is this. Okay, there you have it. Uh, the basic structure of the sound is pretty much the same as the pad, but I'll run through it quickly. It's just a saw wave. It's a saw wave and a pulse rather than a saw wave and uh, like a wave scanning oscillator. But the uh, all the uh, stuttering and the gated effect is done with the arpeggiator. So for now, I'm going to go create a new instance of this. So oscillator one, I kept on a sawtooth. I'll give it eight voices to beefing it right up. Checked it on three. Master pitch I've got down one octave. You don't really need to know this. Okay, phase I had at around a quarter two. So this point is pretty much dead center. Tone all the way around to maximum. Detune, I pulled down from its original position to about plus 18, plus 19. That pump in your hearing, that slight pump in your hearing is the uh, side chain compression. I'll turn that off for now. This EQing also was just to help it get to sit in the mix. I'll leave it on, it's not really relevant whether I turn it on or off. Okay, also later two will turn on and the filter. So oscillator two I had as a pulse, which is another basic waveform, a pulse. I kept the pulse width where it comes as standard. I pulled the volume of this quite way down. So you it was just the underlying sound rather than rather than overpowering the sawtooth. Phase again about quarter two, pitch dead centre, a fine dead centre, and the detune. I've done that wrong. Bear with me. Sawtooth oscillator two. Pulse. I've just set that up on the same oscillator as oscillator one. So oscillator two, yeah, volume and tone all the way around. Phase I had about the same as oscillator one, about plus 18 degrees. Pitch and fine dead center. Detune I kept dead center on this one. Pan and stereo as it comes as standard. I gave this one five voices, so it was thick, but not as thick as the saw wave. That detune on the second pulse gives it that sort of reesey effect, that um, buzzing, that like pulsing up and down you can hear in the background. So the filter doesn't really come into play on this, I had it set up for some uh, modulation within the track that I'm making, but I had it on a low pass filter, the cut off all the way around to maximum, as I say this is modulated throughout the, throughout the track. <laughs> I didn't use any uh, distortion on the filter, so you're not hearing any effects of that. And the oscillator section again, two voices are unison. Spread detune for these voices around to about plus 30. And the pan of these new voices is about the same, plus 30. I didn't check the free button this time, I wanted the pulse to be different to oscillator one, so I'll just let it phase as it does. Typical phase. Um, that's it for the oscillators, as I say, real straightforward. Everything now is to do with the arpeggiator and the effects. We'll do the arp at the end, so we'll go to the master effects now, which is this button at the top. I used an echo and a reverb, as you could have probably tell. So the echo, I clicked it, turned it on. 
double the bus two round to about plus 85. Uh, the mix I had just back from its original position about plus 55. The width I always have round full. Pan where it comes as standard. Feedback so it repeats it, it fe feeds itself back into the loop so you get a longer tail for the echo. About plus 76. The drive all the way around to about 48. I set the left to 1 over 8 so there were two different times so you could really get the effect of that delay. I did use a distortion for the echo, all I did was turn it on, I didn't alter the shape at all, I probably did smooth it out just a bit. This distortion on the Echo is a really neat feature, I've never seen it on any other synth before. It just helps accentuate all the higher ends and all the delays. It helps them stand out more. I mean, I'll turn it on and off a couple of times so you can hear. Off. It's almost like what a compressor, a compressor does if you're used to compressing after a delay. It's a, it's a real neat trick having a distortion with inside a delay. I don't know whether it's inside or after, I take it, it comes last in the chain after the delay. But as I say, it really helps boost the sound. Um, the reverb, click to turn that on. The mix I pulled back from its original position again, to about the same as the delay, plus 50. Reverb size, kept where it was as standard. Time and distance, everything I had out comes as standard. Anything I did, turn the late EQ on and just boosted the highs ever so slightly. So, without the reverb. And with just sounds like a pad without the attack that you want at the minute. The only other thing we need to do in layer one is we're going to back the attack off of envelope one, which controls the main amp. Push the attack around to about plus 42. Grab this dial, this little knob here, and just slacken the attack curve off. Decay, sustain, release, and envelope amount all out comes as standard. Just totally washing the sound out of the minute, that is. I mean, if I turn the side chain compression, it's going to help a little bit. We need to get this app into play now. So this is where you find the arpeggiator at the top. Click on it. Uh, you need to get this exact if you want the uh, pattern to be exactly how I did it. I set the range to one octave so it doesn't pitch the notes up at all. I sync to one sixteenth. That is the rate that we want the uh, arpeggiator to be at. The mode I changed to up down. I pulled it down so we only had four on octave we only had four sections working velocity step one over sixteen steps we set to four that's all we need to get this um I did a transcate within the virus it's exactly the same thing you got two quite short ones and then one holded held note so the first one look this is what it sounds like with all four in <laughs> mess the delay is just going crazy so yeah the first note we want on full the second one we want about two thirds of the way the third one we want about a quarter of the way but we're going to hold this note so you click on this box here hold it pushes out the full step and this last one we want to pull down to zero in effect so it's not doing nothing <laughs> Thank you. 
is taking over. I think we'll turn the feedback down a bit and the drive also. <laughs> This duration knob is like the note length on the virus. It uh, determines how long the notes are in this section here. If you dial it round to the right, they're going to almost join up. But you can have it nice and plucky if you dial it round to the left. Probably does sound better with uh, the free mode on Oscillator 2 as well. I couldn't really remember whether I did have it on it, but listening to it back now, I think it was. So click the free again. This is a bit misleading, this free. Um, it's, this seems to restart the phase every time from a, set, a certain point, whereas free phasing is where you can hear it wumbling through it. But either either, when it's checked, it tends to smoothen the overall tone out. Down, mix down a bit as well. There you have it, nice simple transcape with the synth master. Um, this wasn't really a tutorial on how to make the sound. I mean, you can use any pretty much any sound with this. I'll just solo it again. I'll chop and change these oscillators around quickly. Let's change the sawtooth to one of these dot for ones, and change oscillator t oscillator two to something a bit more harsh. I mean, I say the possibilities are endless. You can use, just wanted to show you can use any oscillators. All about that stutter is all to do with this app. Quick repetitions on a 16th note step. You can do it faster if you want. Oh, again, you could do it slower, 1 over 8. Best on a 16th repetition, that's that classic chance to yeah. There you have it, Transgate with Synth, Synth Master. I've just got one more tutorial to go through and then this track is done pretty much. All I wanted to go through next was the bass. The sub isn't really worth doing. This is the basic bass. analog sound in plucky bass two basic oscillators again a square and a saw wave nothing on it just a bit of filter modulation giving it that sort of plucky stabby sound no effects real straightforward i'll be going over this later today i'll be up at pretty much the same time as this so yeah as always thanks for watching any questions or um requests with synth master probably now i'm getting a bit used to it i can do pretty much any basic sound you're after. Any requests or questions, as always, leave them at the bottom. I'll try and get back to you. Don't forget to check out Facebook and Google+. Plus. It's Sound Design Tutorials. Best way to get hold of me, if you have got any questions, is tweet me at Sound Design Tuts. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers.